So we've discussed the collection bottle, the water seal, which is also the air leak detector. The water seal tube is submerged in two centimeters of water. The third bottle is the suction control, and its atmospheric vent is submerged in 20 centimeters of water. As long as the suction control bottle is bubbling, then we know that 20 centimeters of water of suction is being applied to the chest tube system. Well, the purpose of all this lecture was to explain one of these to someone long ago, and not much has changed in the last several years since the chest tube systems came out. I think the Plurovax we were using 20 years ago. So this is, this is the Atrium Oasis system, which is a dry suction control system. So everything else is exactly the same. Here's the collection chamber for this system. But again, the collection chamber collects the fluid and is graduated, so it's easy to measure how much fluid has come out over an amount of time, and we can see the color of the fluid through the window. So that's no different. Here's the water seal for this system although they call it the air leak monitor because they have a separate check valve for that function. And this is the new graduated air leak monitor. And notice again, it's submerged in two centimeters of water, just like any water seal. And here's my cartoon of the graduated air leak monitor. And you'll notice there's five columns where air can escape from the water seal. And so since a small amount of air is leaking from our water seal, we see the air only moving through column one. But with more air coming through the water seal, we'll see the air come up through the second column. With even more air, the air will come up through the third column. And with more air, the air will come up through the fourth column and even the fifth column. So with the graduated air leak monitor, we can evaluate qualitatively how much air is coming from the system by seeing whether it bubbles up through one or two or more of the columns. What makes this system different? It has dry suction control. One of the problems with wet suction control is if the chest tube collection system is knocked over, the suction control does not function properly, and that can be a big problem. The other problem with wet suction control is it bubbles continuously. It makes a very loud bubbling noise all the time, and it's kind of irritating for the person who's connected to the system. It makes it difficult for them to sleep. So the dry suction control systems are being used more and more because they're quiet, and they remain functional if they're knocked over. Again, the dry suction control is usually set for 20 centimeters of water. The orange indicator will appear when suction is applied and match with the little arrow once 20 centimeters of water of vacuum have been applied to the system. And then again, this will maintain the vacuum on the system at 20 centimeters of water and will not let it exceed that. 